The Duchess of Sussex must understand she cannot live like an A-list Hollywood star while enjoying the privilege of the monarchy, a royal expert has warned. Anna Pasternak is the author of Untitled, The Real Wallace Simpson, The Duchess of Windsor and A Princess in Love, about Princess Diana. Speaking in the latest episode of Yahoo News weekly online series, The Royal Box, Anna offered her take on Meghan's role within the royal family and offered a cautionary note to the royal, saying she had to realize she can't have it all. She added this moment of realization is essential for the longevity of the monarchy. I think what Meghan's got to realize is she cannot live life in the royal family like an A-list Hollywood star, Anna said. Within the monarchy it requires a very different set of behavior. She continued, you cannot have it all. You cannot have your freedom in this privilege. It's not a fairy tale. Recognizes that and live with the consequences. Commenting on the Duchess New York baby shower, Anna said, I think, the baby shower, was in very poor taste. When the country is in a state of extreme anxiety and flux and are struggling financially, I think you cannot have it both ways. You cannot on the one hand, say to the people, save the planet, save plastic, and then be revving up a private jet with a massive carbon footprint for a lavish baby shower in New York. I don't think it looks good and I don't think it's appropriate. Anna explained to Meghan understanding her place in the royal hierarchy is key to its long-term survival. I don't think she, Meghan, understands that she can't be this international star on a global stage. That has to be the Queen, then Charles, then William and Kate. They have to be the stars. That's how you ensure continuity of the monarchy. The House of Windsor has done incredibly well to stay together when so many other European houses have collapsed. And they've done that because they recognize it's the monarch who has to be the main event. The author speculated that it is likely to be this difference in attitude at the root of any tension between the Duchess of Sussex and her sister-in-law the Duchess of Cambridge. She said, I think William is very responsible and knows what his role is and Kate has come alongside that and executed that extremely well. And I think it's quite difficult to then have had Meghan, come in, who seems to want to modernize and set her own agenda. Finally. She agreed there were comparisons to be made between the Duchess of Sussex and Wallace Simpson. The obvious and more trivial similarities are that they were both 34 when they met their princes, they're both American divorcees, they both share a penchant for couture, she said. They are both also well-educated women and bright women. Wallace whip smart, much brighter than the Duke, and I think Meghan is similarly smart, 